upcoming changes to Illinois' pretrial system with the implementation of the Pretrial Fairness Act. One of the major changes is the end of money bond, which will take effect on September 18, 2023. This means that instead of paying a fee for certain low-level charges or non-threatening situations, individuals will be issued tickets with a court date. That's right. And if you happen to miss a court date after September 18, you might receive a notice informing you of your absence or warrant for your arrest could be issued. It's important to resolve the issue as soon as possible to avoid any further complications. And what about individuals who are already in jail before September 18th? Well, they can request a new hearing to ask for release if they are unable to pay their bond. However, if the judge determines that they pose a flight risk or a threat to the community, they may remain in jail. Absolutely. And let's not forget about electronic monitoring. If someone violates the terms of their electronic monitoring, a judge can review the violation and decide on a response, which could include up to 30 days in jail. And if they remove or damage their monitoring device or try to flee, they could be charged with a felony. That's right. And lastly, if you violate the rules set by a judge before your trial, there may be a hearing to determine the consequences. It could range from a warning to changes in your release conditions or even up to 30 days in jail. And if you're rearrested for a new case before your trial, you may be held in custody until then. Well, that's all for today, folks. We hope this article gave you some insight into the upcoming changes in Illinois' pre-trial system. As always, stay informed and see you next time.